If you guys are afraid of cockroaches, this is the anime just for you. Terraformers, guys, episode 1, OVA. Now, you guys are going to tell me, because I don't read the manga. I don't know anything about this series at all, except for the description of the first episode I just saw. So, you guys are going to tell me if this is the real first episode, or this is just a, uh, a prologue. Or, you know, something to start us off for the real thing. So, you guys are going to tell me that below. But, you know, other than that, man, first episode of Terraformers, i got to say right now, man. This is already a competition for the best anime of fall. It really is, man. This episode was violent. It was gory. It, it was dark as fuck. Oh, my God. I honestly did not think that many people were going to get slaughtered in that one episode. The whole crew fucking died. Only five are left remaining. Like, all right, man. I, I, like I said before, I don't know anything about this anime at all. The manga, I don't know shit about this. So, I'm coming into this new and I gotta tell you right now, man, this is a great fucking anime. If you like, you know, gore, if you like action, if you like dark, if you you like anything. If you just like anime in general, because think about it. They, they make cockroaches into the main problem. <laughs> Only anime, guys. <laughs> Cockroaches, and what's his name? Honestly, guys, I got to use my phone to figure out their names, because the only thing I could actually remember now is there the cockroaches' fucking face. Seriously, those faces are just fucking creepy as fuck. So Kichi, right? He has a dark past, man. We could see that. And this episode starts off, you know, it opens up with both Akira and, and Sokichi. And they seem like a couple. They really do. They seem like they like each other. They they enjoy their company. And the first thing that showed, uh, the second thing that actually got showed was that uh, uh, mutant thing. I was like, whoa, whoa, what the hell is that? And then it started getting closer. I was thinking, okay, maybe this is some sort of like an alien anime or something of that sort. And then that, sh that thing just... Broke Akira's neck like on the spot. I was like, "Whoa, what the, f dude? Just kill this thing right now!" And then we, you know, we continue on. You know, we we find out that she's dead, and we continue, and then we find out that these um these people that are there, they're there to actually investigate what happened to the cockroaches. Because before them, a long time ago, they sent out these cockroaches into Mars. You know, to test it out, to see the environment, to see if it's livable. And I guess over time, over mutation, over over adapted to it, to the climate and all that, they became these superhuman cockroaches monsters. And then they sent a first crew to check on them. But that crew was, was quickly destroyed. Well, we don't know if they, were, if they were destroyed, we just know that they went there and they never reported back. So this is where this crew, the second crew, came into play. And we find out that these guys are, more, are delinquent, you know. They're trash, that's what the government sees them as. They eat they all committed crimes, you know, they're not the best of people, so that's why they were sent up there, and, you know, the bad thing is, you know, since they're delinquent, since they're bad, people will not really care about them if they do die. So that's why they sent up there for that purpose, and we see what the fuck happens, man. The whole planet is infested with these roaches, like, it's like, it's like a zombie movie, but with cockroaches. It sounds stupid, but... Believe me, man, just look at, just see the episode, you're gonna be like, holy shit. And every single time you see a cockroach from now on, hell no, I'm not gonna let you grow. And then we see that these cockroaches started, like, start invading this, uh, their, their ship. And there's a lot of these things, man, there's a fucking whole bunch. I did not think there was gonna be that many, I thought it was gonna be, like, at most a hundred. But the whole planet is infested with these cockroaches, and they start killing them. They start killing the crew members one by one in Horrible fashion. Now, you know, I gotta give them props. They're actually not censoring anything. Because we see that, you know, we even see some backstory with Akita before she died that she was, like, raped. She was harassed. She was abused by her boyfriend. And that's when um, our main protagonist, Okichi, you know, he saved her for the, from that life. And that's pretty dark, man. They actually showed some of that, some of those scenes. And we keep going and they start killing more and more people until, like, a few will survive. The captain for the, for the crew tells them, okay, I have a plan. You guys leave on this, um, this car. I'll stay here, I'll block them, they do that, they escape, and guess what man, they find the other shuttle from the first crew, they go in there, and then quickly, the, uh, the rest of the car just find them, and they surround them, and a few things about this too is, um, they're, they're, they have powers I guess, they could transform Mars, huh, that's where they got the name from, they transform into bugs, insects, and that's pretty cool, they actually get the, the abilities, the, the traits from these bugs that make them, you know, unique. So, for instance, you know, uh, our main character, he's a hornet. He's a green Asian hornet, if I remember right. And this fool, you know, he has, like, twin pistols, like a bee drill, you know. He's, like, he's almost like a fucking bee drill. This is with, like, not, not that big of drills. But, you know, he's fucking tight. And we see that these other guys also have these powers. These bug 
powers and but the thing is you know all of them died except for like five except for five. the captain's still alive i hope the captain does not die because his power looks fucking badass he's like a super human he-man superman god i'm not even kidding man and then we got our other two people you know they got cool powers i give them that one of them's like part flea if i believe or praying mantis he's something they could jump high but you know it's an awesome fucking episode it was gory as fuck man i did not expect it from this especially with you know, with these animes getting censored the fuck out. So I am glad they did not censor any of that. Because that shit was just entertainment for the eye. And that was eye candy right there, man. That was fucking eye candy. The thing is, you know, this episode opened up in the future. You know, the things already happened. This has all already happened. So it kind of spoils us because all we see was that fat dude that was on a computer trying to, like, save the captain. With the captain. So, he, and they said he was one of the only survivors. One of the only survivors. So there should be more, but we only see him. So, we, you know, he survived. So, I don't think this anime is going to focus on that crew. Maybe it'll focus on another crew that comes after them. But, you know, when they do get there, they'll find, like, some of the survivors from the second crew. Maybe the first crew. Who knows? Maybe the first crew. So, I think that's what's going to happen with this anime. But, uh, for right now, man, that second crew is dead. So... But yeah, that's what I think, man. What do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts on the video. Tell me your thoughts on the series. I want to hear your thoughts, guys. Let's discuss this. Appreciate it, guys. As always, guys, thank you. Take care. Be safe. Like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you guys want to. Follow Matic.